on first and ten on the 30-yard line. DeShazo, a sprint out pass to his left, throwing it deep down the left sideline, looking for Still. He has it at the 30. Brian Still going to take this baby all the way. Touchdown Tech, 70-yarder. Brian Still came back for the ball, took it right away from the defensive back, ran into the end zone. Touchdown Tech. Here's the Hokies throwing again. DeShazo throwing. It's caught by Still of the 40. Down to the Bowling Green 35 yard line. Five, second and 20. Ball at the 17. DeShazo to pass. Looking downfield as a man complete, and that is still Brian Still. Out to the 41 yard line, a gain of 23 yards before Greg McKellen could catch up. Great protection for DeShazo, and you can just see the confidence he has throwing the football. I can just take his patience. This is a deep bench route. It takes a long time to open up, and you can see the kind of space available underneath. The deep safety and beyond the corner, McClellan. Two games, but this is a team that's building confidence each week. I think they can play with both Notre Dame and West Virginia. Drill right to number 17, Brian Still. He's going to go in for a score for Virginia Tech. 57 yards on the post pattern. Wide open. Jim Drunkenmiller. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Makes it 48-33. Well, an excellent throw by Druckenmiller and a little bit of complacency maybe by BC's defense. A couple missed tackles right here, but Brian Still with a nice job running after the catch, showing that breakaway speed. And he's a guy, depending on the injury to Freeman, he's going to have to come up with more big plays next week in the game against Syracuse. Four. Well, Brian Still caught that touchdown pass at a... Kind of a freak accident this summer, right before the season started. He was in the weight room and dropped a weight and actually lost the tip of one of his fingers. Had to get it surgically reattached, and he missed a, a good portion of training camp. He was, however, ready to go when the first game rolled around. But he's a, a young man that they really expect a lot of big things out of, a guy who's got a lot of big play potential uh, at the wide receiver position, just a sophomore. You know, don't block it. Oh, shit. Wow. We're running the wrong way. Brian Still of Virginia Tech returning the punt, and he nearly breaks it. After the punt, a magnificent punt, Brian Still returns it all the way to the Arkansas State 35. Showing blitz. There's a high snap. DeShazo fielded. it. Rolling to his right, scrambling, looking, fires down the field where it is caught at the Southern Miss 46, a Tech first down. Brian still went up and hauled it in. Got a foot in bounds. To the left. On second down, DeShazo pulls out, fakes the handoff, rolling right, looking to throw. Has time, lets it fly into the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown, Tech. Brian still hauls it in. It's a 41-yard touchdown bomb to the young man from Huguenot. And Tech has the lead. Excellent executing. Virginia Tech takes over at its own 28. Good time for DeShazo. Throwing and completing to Brian Still. BC territory at the 48-yard line. Brian Still last week had four catches and a touchdown, one for 41 yards. That's a 24-yard pickup. Well, one thing that Boston College has established is that Tech will not run on them. Now they've got to get some pressure on DeShazo. You cannot afford to give him that much time. Good operation, nice throw, good catch, and you move the chains. DeShazo did get a lick at the end of that play. Brian still. They need a few yards to get in field goal position. Under pressure, DeShazo sets up. Wide open is still. He caught the ball. Touchdown. What really makes this play is Maurice DeShazo is able to step away from Steve Perkins. Now you see him come from out of bounds on the field. Brian Still with a touchdown reception. DeShazo to pass. 
The out and down, looking deep. Complete to Brian Still, and there's the big play they've been waiting for this afternoon. A 46-yard gain down to the 24. Kate, the football. Now, first of all, DeShazo, there's the pump, and he puts it up nicely. Now, he knows there's great coverage out there. But watch this. Watch number three, Bevel. He never locates the ball. Somebody, like 18 Jones, has to be yelling, ball, 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 as soon as it's thrown. So the quarterback... He's over halfway to 100. DeShazo, a first down pass. Pump fake short. Now firing it deep. Brian's still on the run. He's got it. A great grab on the three-yard line. What a throw. What a catch. The old pump fake throws his man for a second, and DeShazo just right on the money run into the locker room. Right. He, they've been putting ice on his calves for, I believe it's cramps. And there's a nice pass complete to Brian Still at the 38-yard line and a first down after a pickup of 19 yards. A nice ball thrown that time by Maurice DeShazo. It was thrown to Thart. And win it. Need to score as often and as quickly as you can. And DeShazo back to pass, zipping it over the middle of Still. Leaps and hauls it in on the Rutgers 30-yard line. A marvelous catch by Brian Still in traffic. Caught it right in front of Keith Pryor. J.B. Ground, he's had to do a heck of a job with that group. From the 34-yard line, DeShazo, a pump fake short, fires it deep for Still in the end zone. He's got it! Touchdown! Brian Still! And the Hokies score again! And out of the eye formation, option pass, DeShazo back, looking, firing it deep, Brian Still on the run, he's got it, a spectacular catch, and the Hokies, Brian Still has his second score of the day. What a throw by DeShazo, Bill, great execution again, Still just came down and ran that post pattern, never hesitated one bit, just kept it right in stride there, DeShazo hit him on the run. Garcia's kick, Brian Still will have a chance to return, he'll do it from the three. 15, 20, hold, big hold, 30, got an angle, 40, Virginia. crowd on its feet, 40, 30, and knocked out of bounds right there at the 23 yard line, Virginia's back in business. Now you know why they didn't get Drunken Miller who comes in, he saves the day. This is the thing folks, we talked about special teams, and I love the Cavaliers coverage. This time they just get flat feet out of position. I guess Charlie comes over the front and trying to make a great shot at the end. Blows him up. Yeah, Garcia, what a play on that. That's a great effort. Incomplete pass, third down, 10 from the 34. Run a loop on the defensive line to shave a throw. Got a man still. Trying to knock it out of bounds. He's in the Virginia territory at the 47 game with BC. And Maryland losing to Syracuse. Syracuse bouncing back. Still down and still catches a layout grab at the 22. First down, Virginia Tech. You're frustrated over because they know they've got this kind of stuff built into their offense. But uh, you give the Cavaliers credit, because up until that point, they denied these kind of plays. Well, that is nice. That is very nice. Three yards to go. The Shazo. Complete. The catch is made by Brian Still, and Still out of bounds. Stops the clock at the 19-yard line. Still 31 seconds, and DeShazo, the rhythm. Jacksonville getting ready for the beginning of the NFL season next year. Here's a roll out by DeShazo, throwing up the field, a wide open man, and the catch is made by Still as he has the first down catch of the 44. The nice job staying inbounds and making the catch an 18-yard game. Yeah, the thing about Brian Still, number 17, is you get the ball anywhere near him and he'll make the adjustment to catch it. He's got a great ability and a great sense of catching it, and then dots the eye with the feet, stays inbounds. I mean, you talk about adjusting to the ball in the air, and Brian Steele does just a great job of it. First down. Ken Oxidine, the running back, Strucken Miller, back to throw. And that's a nice throw and catch that time. Still on the receiving. Develop some confidence, playing in a bold game. Take that in the next season as the starting quarterback, possibly. And he wow. just threw a touchdown strike. Whoa. That ball was thrown well. Brian still. Receiver has been open. The quarterback has not been able to get rid of the ball. This time he's open. He throws it. He gets rid of it. Just as receiver's coming open. And that's a touchdown. A well executed throw by Druckenmiller. Throws 
goes on quickly to still and still down to the 32 yard line. You remember that last year, uh, the West Virginia game that we did from here, players slipping and sliding all over the place. Here's still. Now we're going to start with a play fake by Jim Truckermiller. Here's the fake stopping right there. Fake, but look at the linebackers now. All moving in that direction. Still's going to come down here, run a quick out. Jim Truckermiller gets him the ball. Now watch. Stop it right here. Stop it right here. Now again, Daryl Porter, number 44, is coming up, and he's just not ready to tackle. And then it's off to the horse races. Cornelius Block, White, number four, with a good block. Brian still into the end zone. We do. Second down and six. Druckenmill looks, fires downfield. Brian still's got it. Oh, just shy of the touchdown. Great hookup. Brian still hauls it in, a 47-yard pass play. Great play action. Holds it. Nice delay. Get it up in the air where a great athlete can run under it. And see Carlos is way behind. He's going to throw again. Fires downfield for Brian Still. He's got it. It's a foot race. And Still taken down by Dorsett, but not before a huge game. Now. Watch the great, he lets, he puts the football up in the air where a great athlete like Brian can go get it. He makes the catch this week. Now look at the effort by Dorsett. Keep coming, keep coming. Don't give up. Keep him out of the end zone. Great big dive, and that's exactly what happens. Here, get him back and, and give Sheridan a little bit of a blow. Druckenmiller with time across the middle, complete to Brian Still. Hit by Mike Sandy, the redshirt freshman from St. Peter. Here's Thomas in motion right. Druckenmiller across the middle. Brian still touchdown. Virginia Tech. Each side of the field. Watch here as you watch him come underneath the coverage. Druckenmiller working out of the shotgun. Waits for him to come underneath. He goes underneath the linebacker. Number 42, Demian makes the catch and gets in for the score. One second. Now the back to the receivers for the Hokies. Brian Still, the dangerous wideout for the Hokies, led them in receiving this year. Jermaine Holmes also with very good speed. Brian Still actually hurt his shoulder in the opening ball game against BC, returning a kick. And when he was out of the lineup, they really missed him because barking out instructions. Third down and six. Complete to Still. And Still is near the first down marker at the 35. It's going to depend a lot on the spot. Kyle Richardson making the tackle for the Horns. Still 6 feet, 175 pounds, a senior. Fourth in the Big East in receiving yardage, averaging 69 yards per game. Schultes now into punt for Texas. Larry Green setting on his own 45-yard line. So the Hokies, you would think, would have good field position after the punt. Texas bringing all their punt protectors in. This is a critical punting situation for the Longhorns. Keep an eye out for number 83. Where is he? He doesn't emerge on this one. Schultes hangs it up high. Green at the 41-yard line. And here comes Brian Still. Brian Still is going to take this one to the house. Touchdown, Hokies.
Mark, a great job by Frank Beamer changing up the punt return. They brought Brian Still in to return the punt, and they set up the return. They looked, made it look like they were going for the block. They pulled out to set up the return, and they got the ball in the hands of their big play guy, Brian Still. Texas was expecting the rush. Virginia Tech went for the punt return, and Brian Still gets the Hokies in the end zone. And finally, we hear the vociferous fans from Blacksburg. Over 35,000 of them have made the trip from the campus nestled in the rolling hills of Southwest Virginia. The Hokies on the board with seven points, courtesy of Brian Still. Take a look at this now. The last 26 games, the defense for Virginia Tech and the special teams over the last three years has combined for that 16 touchdowns now. A great punt return by Brian Still. And a lot of times, if a team is going to try to block a punt, you tell the returner to go for a fair catch. When he saw that he wasn't going with the fair catch, you knew Virginia Tech was actually trying to set up the return. They wanted to get the ball to Brian Still, and he made it pay off for him. Can never underestimate the value of great special teams. And, and Virginia Tech has always had strong special teams under Frank Beamer. That's the way he likes to play football. When he was in college, he played for Jerry Claiborne at Virginia Tech, and that's the way they played. You see everybody in, but they didn't rush. They're just trying to hold up the guys running down to cover the kick. No fair catch by Brian Still. When he catches it, he's got about five yards in front of him because they held up the, the guys covering the kick, and then he just uses that acceleration and that burst. Nobody even laid a glove on Brian Still. Great work by the guys up front for Virginia Tech, holding up the men that are running down to cover the kick. Mark, in this day and age in college football, you don't win nine games in a row if you're not doing something exceptionally well. And what Virginia Tech has done exceptionally well all year is play great defense and have great special teams. Their offense has not always been the most productive, but their defense and special teams have played well all season. That was a huge momentum boost for the Virginia Tech football team. It's a prophetic statement. He did not know that it was a live brawl. 56 seconds to go in the half. Druckenmiller on the flanker screen, and Brian still can move it. Out of bounds with the first down, subsequently stopping the clock with 48 seconds to play in the half. Number 17 picks up 18 on that play, tackled by the string. Second down and 13, out of the shotgun. Druckenmiller, complete, still at the two. A 27-yard pickup. First and goal, Hokies. And that's what they had to do. Get the ball downfield to still and do it away from Bryant Westbrook. Westbrook has proved that he is too hard to beat in the single situations. He's up against Taji Allen, or in the slot against Trey Thomas, rather. And that's a good matchup for Virginia Tech. That's man-to-man, -man, your best receiver against the strong safety, who is the worst man-to-man -man cover guy in that secondary. That's what you want if you're Virginia Tech. you got to find those situations and exploit them. That time, Jim Druckenmiller did still made a great adjustment on the ball as well it was thrown over the other shoulder five catches 65 yards I'm on Holmes third down and seven for the Hokies Texas coming on a blitz Druckenmiller has still wide open touchdown Hokies You love Brian Still. Well, here's the free safety. He's in man-to-man -man coverage because they're blitzing all the linebackers. That means there's no deep center fielder. It's man-to-man -man coverage, and Taji Allen just got flat-out beat to the post. When you've got man-to-man -man coverage, you cannot give up the inside. If you don't have free safety help, that's the one place you can't get beat. And Brian Still showed you again why he's the big play guy. Flat-out beat Taji Allen on the post. Larson in for the extra point. And the Blacksburg Posse lead 21 to 10. Boy, did he shake the defender Allen. 21 to 10 in the Nokia Sugar Bowl. We'll be right back. You know what? That shake. 
must have been jelly because the jam can't shoot like that. Mark, it was a great move by Brian Steele, but credit the offensive line and the backs of Virginia Tech. They saw the blitz. They hung in there. They picked everybody up that was rushing, and Jim Druckenmiller had time to wait for Brian Steele to clear and to make the nice touch throw down the middle of the field. Great job by the offensive line in the back, picking up the blitz, and a great route by Brian Steele.